Good morning everyone. Welcome back to Draw My Life. Today is Monday, February 1st, 2021 to be exact. And it's the first day of Black History Month. To commemorate Black History Month, we'll be making video tributes for our brothers and sisters who made it possible. We hope you enjoy our Black History Month video series. Today we are taking you through the life and legacy of the First Lady, Mrs. Michelle Obama. Okay. Here we go. Michelle Lavon Robinson Obama, née Robinson, born January 17, 1964, is an American attorney and author who was the First Lady of the United States from 2009 to 2017. She is married to the 44th President of the United States, Barack Obama, and was the first African American First Lady. Robinson's father, Fraser C. Robinson III, died from complications from his illness in March 1991. She would later say that although he was the hole in my heart and loss in my scar, the memory of her father has motivated her each day since. Her friend Suzanne Alley died from cancer around this time as well. These losses made her think of her contributions towards society and how well she was influencing the world from her law firm, in her first job after law school. She considered this a turning point. Robinson met Barack Obama when they were among the few African Americans at their law firm, Sidley Austin LLP, she has sometimes said only two, although others have noted that there were others in different departments. She was assigned to mentor him while he was a summer associate. Their relationship started with a business lunch and then a community organization meeting where he first impressed her. Before meeting Obama, Michelle had told her mother she intended to focus solely on her career. The couple's first date was to Spike Lee's movie Do the Right Thing, 1989. Barack Obama has said that the couple had an opposites attract scenario in their initial interest in each other, since Michelle had stability from her two-parent home while he was adventurous. They married on October 3, 1992. After suffering a miscarriage, Michelle underwent in vitro fertilization to conceive their daughters Malia N, born 1998, and Natasha, known as Sasha, born 2001. Robinson was inspired to follow her brother to Princeton University, which she entered in 1981. She majored in sociology and minored in African American studies, graduating cum laude with a Bachelor of Arts in 1985 after completing a 99-page senior thesis titled Princeton Educated Blacks and the Black Community under the supervision of Walter Wallace. Robinson recalls that some of her teachers in high school tried to dissuade her from applying, and that she had been warned against setting my sights too high. She believed that her brother's status as an alumnus he graduated in 1983, before being hired as a basketball coach at Oregon State University and Brown University may have helped her during the admission process, but she was resolved to demonstrate her own worth. She has stated that she was overwhelmed during her first year, attributing this to the fact that neither of her parents had graduated from college, and that she had never spent time on a college campus. The mother of a white roommate reportedly tried, unsuccessfully, to get her daughter reassigned because of Michelle's race. Robinson said that being at Princeton was the first time she became more aware of her ethnicity and, despite the willingness of her classmates and teachers to reach out to her, she still felt like a visitor on campus. There were also issues of economic class. I remember being shocked, she says, by college students who drove BMWs. I didn't even know parents who drove BMWs. While at Princeton, Robinson became involved with the Third World Center, now known as the Carl A. Field Center, an academic and cultural group that supported minority students. She ran their daycare center, which also offered after-school tutoring for older children. She challenged the teaching methodology for French because she felt that it should be more conversational. As part of her requirements for graduation, she wrote a sociology thesis, entitled Princeton Educated Blacks and the Black Community. She researched her thesis by sending a questionnaire to African-American graduates, asking that they specify when and how comfortable they were with their race prior to their enrollment at Princeton and how they felt about it when they were a student and since then. Of the 400 alumni to whom she sent the survey, fewer than 90 responded. Her findings did not support her hope that the black alumni would still identify with the African-American community, even though they had attended an elite university and had the advantages that accrue to its graduates. Robinson pursued professional study, earning her Juris Doctor, 
JD, degree from Harvard Law School in 1988. By the time she applied for Harvard Law, biographer Bond wrote, her confidence had increased, this time around, there was no doubt in her mind that she had earned her place. Her faculty mentor at Harvard Law was Charles Ogletree, who has said that she had answered the question that had plagued her throughout Princeton by the time she arrived at Harvard Law, whether she would remain the product of her parents or keep the identity she had acquired at Princeton, she had concluded she could be both brilliant and black. At Harvard, Robinson participated in demonstrations advocating the hiring of professors who were members of minority groups. She worked for the Harvard Legal Aid Bureau, assisting low-income tenants with housing cases. She is the third first lady with a postgraduate degree, after her two immediate predecessors, Hillary Clinton and Laura Bush. She later said that her education gave her opportunities beyond what she had ever imagined. Raised on the south side of Chicago, Illinois, Obama is a graduate of Princeton University and Harvard Law School. In her early legal career, she worked at the law firm Sidley Austin where she met Barack Obama. She subsequently worked in nonprofits and as the Associate Dean of Student Services at the University of Chicago as well as the Vice President for Community and External Affairs of the University of Chicago Medical Center. Michelle married Barack in 1992, and they have two daughters. Obama campaigned for her husband's presidential bid throughout 2007 and 2008, delivering a keynote address at the 2008 Democratic National Convention. She has subsequently delivered acclaimed speeches at the 2012, 2016, and 2020 conventions. As First Lady, Obama served as a role model for women and worked as an advocate for poverty awareness, education, nutrition, physical activity, and healthy eating. She supported American designers and was considered a fashion icon. After her husband's presidency, her influence remained high. In 2020, Obama topped Gallup's poll of the most admired woman in America for the third year running. During her early months as first lady, Obama visited homeless shelters and soup kitchens. She also sent representatives to schools and advocated public service. Obama advocated for her husband's policy priorities by promoting bills that support it. She hosted a White House reception for women's rights advocates in celebration of the enactment of the Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act of 2009 Pay Equity Law. She supported the economic stimulus bill in visits to the United States Department of Housing and Urban Development and United States Department of Education. Some observers looked favorably upon her legislative activities, while others said that she should be less involved in politics. According to her representatives, she intended to visit all United States cabinet-level agencies in order to get acquainted with Washington. On June 5, 2009, the White House announced that Michelle Obama was replacing her then Chief of Staff, Jackie Norris, with Susan Scher, a longtime friend and advisor. Norris became a senior advisor to the Corporation for National and Community Service. Another key aide, Spelman College alumna Kristen Jarvis, served from 2008 until 2015, when she left to become Chief of Staff to the Ford Foundation President Darren Walker. In 2009, Obama was named Barbara Walters' Most Fascinating Person of the Year. In her memoir, Becoming, Obama describes her four primary initiatives as First Lady, Let's Move, Reach Higher, Let Girls Learn, and Joining Forces. Some initiatives of First Lady Michelle Obama included advocating on behalf of military families, helping working women balance career and family, encouraging national service, and promoting the arts and arts education. Obama made supporting military families and spouses a personal mission and increasingly bonded with military families. According to her aides, stories of the sacrifice these families make moved her to tears. In April 2012, Obama and her husband were awarded the Gerald Washington Memorial Founders Award by the National Coalition for Homeless Veterans NCHV. The award is the highest honor given to homeless veteran advocates. Obama was again honored with the award in May 2015, accepting with Jill Biden. In May 2014, Obama joined the campaign to bring back school girls who had been kidnapped in Nigeria. The First Lady tweeted a picture of herself holding a poster with the hashtag Bring Back Our Girls campaign hashtag. Obama writes in her book about enlisting help for her initiative Let Girls Learn to Produce and Sing the Song This Is For My Girls. Tell us what you love about our First Lady.